Hi, my name is Andre Moreira and I'm working on my initiation research rank at the Gulbenkian Foundation and I'll be talking about how we can address sustainability issues with quantum computing. The supply chain distribution has an enormous impact on the environment. Calculating the best routes of deliveries to several different places is a very hard computational task and companies often use approximations that are not optimal solutions. This leads to massive miles wasted. These issues can be addressed in computer science as vehicle routing problems. The vehicle routing problem is a combinatorial NP-hard problem, so a lot of computational resources are wasted to only obtain approximate solutions to the problem. This problem consists of minimizing the cost of a fleet of vehicles delivering packages to a set of clients. Quantum computing is now in the spotlight of new emerging technologies because of the perspective to be able to solve problems that are not solvable with classical computers. As opposed to classical computers being built using physical bits to represent values and run operations, quantum computers are built using qubits. As opposed to classical bits, a single qubit can hold both 0, 1 or a value in between, which is called superposition. Due to this property, quantum computers allow one set of qubits to be in multiple states at the same time, representing a much broader state space. There are two types of quantum computers. The quantum circuit architecture is based on quantum gates. This one has similarities with quantum circuits in which the gates interact with the qubits and change their state. We have some adaptation of classical gates such as the NOT gate. This technology can be used with the IBM quantum computers and is very interesting because it lets us formulate problems similarly to classical gates. The quantum annealing architecture is based on the fact that physical systems tend to reach a state of minimum energy. The lowest point represents the two possible states of the qubit, and in the end, the system will collapse into a zero or a one. These systems naturally return low energy solutions. This is a system mostly used for optimization problems, most, specific, most specifically quadratic and constrained binary optimization problems. In order to solve problems, we need to reformulate a given problem into a qubit. After researching the vehicle routing problem with quantum computer, we found some very interesting solutions. One particular article implemented different algorithms to solve this problem in deep wave computers, an implementation of computers based on quantum annealers. The first one was a fully quantum solution, however, it could only solve small problems. Another relevant algorithm was the DBSCAN solver, mixing classical and quantum algorithms, which recursively created new clusters and new simpler problems, recalculating until a new solution was found. The last one is a solution partition solver, which solves the problem with only one single vehicle with the DBSCAN solver and then classically creates several permutations of the solutions and find the best of that set. The article provided the scores for the measurements made by solving the Christofidis dataset, a very popular be benchmark for the vehicle routing problem, using the solution partition solver. After running this test again, we saw general improvements on the score of the solutions compared to the ones measured in 2020. However, after performing the t-test to the results, we could not conclude with 95% significance that the results are actually different, therefore not being able to conclude to which extent, if any, that quantum computers are performing better with these measurements. Even not concluding statistically the evolution of quantum computers in this dataset, this work was important to update very interesting algorithms that sometimes would perform better than classical algorithms, and it was interesting to see slight improvements, even though not statistically confirmed. This was my research grant at Gulbenkian, I hope you enjoyed it.